Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, the alarm bells are ringing and the convergence in the days ahead is off the charts. Guys, if you did not watch my video from yesterday titled The Ultimate Convergence, I'm going to encourage you at this time to watch my video from yesterday first before you watch this video because today's video is going to tie into directly what I shared yesterday. I will put yesterday's video again titled The Ultimate Convergence in the description box and I'll also uh, pin a comment. So please watch that first before you watch this video. So in yesterday's video, I mentioned how every year in September, right around the Feast of Trumpets, when the United Nations General Assembly is being held, every year they are proclaiming peace and safety, peace and security at the United Nations. And this is huge because when you go to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 4, the Apostle Paul records the following. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, or another translation renders it peace and security, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. So Paul makes it very clear. There is a time coming when they will be saying peace and safety or peace and security. Then sudden destruction is going to come upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. We are told we will see that day approaching. But anyways, I covered this in my video yesterday that every year, again, at the United Nations General Assembly, they are proclaiming peace and safety or peace and security, again, right around the time of the Feast of Trumpets. Listen to this. The wish of the Peace Bell founder was simple and clear. No more wars. Sadly, our generation has not met this aspiration. But it is not too late to start turning the tide. Let us use this international day as our clarion call to action. And as we ring the bell today, let us heed the call of the founder. Let us recommit to the SDGs and let us recommit to a world where peace and security are reality for all. Talk about right out of the horse's mouth. Folks, what you just saw there was the United Nations General Assembly President Dennis Francis speaking on next week's United Nations Summit. The SDG Summit is going to be next Monday and Tuesday, September 18th to September 19th. And International Day of Peace, which is next Thursday, September 21st. He said this, again, let us recommit to the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. Then he said, let us recommit to a world where peace and security are a reality for all. I mean, guys, what else are you supposed to do with that? I mean, the Apostle Paul, again, made it very clear. A time is coming when they shall say peace and safety or peace and security. Then sudden destruction is coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But guess who will escape? Those that are saved. Anybody that is saved when this day does come will be raptured. Jesus Christ is going to come and snatch away, rescue, harpazo, those that are his, those that are saved, when this day does come. Anybody that's left behind will be here for the time of tribulation, which will last for seven years, the most horrific time that is coming on this planet. We don't know for sure that the days ahead are the appointed time for the rapture of the church. But there is an ultimate convergence going on. They're going to be saying peace and safety, peace and security at the UN, uh, as well as all the other stuff I covered in my video yesterday. So what if this is the appointed time? 
If it is, and you're watching this video right now and you're not saved, you need to get saved right now because time is running out. How are you saved? Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. It isn't. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. So I am begging you, I am imploring you again to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because again, tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.